Tarot astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for psychiatric or physical health care. Merry Christmas, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting December 26th, 2022. And just a quick reminder, if you are ever interested in getting a session with me, you just got to go onto my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, engagement helps this channel out a lot. And don't forget, you've got new bi-weekly astrological forecasts already up covering the first half of January 2023. So give that a visit uh, once you are done here. This week, your big spiritual theme or the big focus is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. And there is a call, um, even a command, to be ready to shake things up when it comes to certain strategies, schedules, procedures uh, that you have been working with that do not hold up with very, uh, that are not holding up very well anymore. A lot of the times the Eight of Pentacles reversed can indicate a need to not only pay attention to hidden details or maybe to update our skills, our education, and uh, shake things up in that way, but also a need to pay attention to where we might not necessarily be keeping up with changing times the best we can. And where there are a lot of hidden goodies, a lot of wealth, a lot of new contacts, and a lot of new stories that could get started, if we move on from maybe an era or a story or a way of going about our business, that is past its time. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, there are going to be a lot of moments where you're going to be catching where errors uh, or maybe certain cracks are starting to show in er different corners of your life. And it's a time to see where we need to stop trying to patch them and move forward, right? We are going through a big enforced update and upgrade process. This is going to be a week that's going to be either exhilarating for you because you want it and you're ready for it, or it could be a week that is very challenging if you're stuck in your ways. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you do have the Two of Pentacles upright. And this week is going to be quite hectic, quite busy, but a lot of this is still happening for the good. The Two of Pentacles can show up where we are finding that, uh, you know, business is booming. Our finances are starting to go through some dramatic increases. But you may be finding with the Two of Pentacles that you are approaching a personal limit. Make sure that you are able to keep juggling what you need to juggle and that we don't get too greedy, but we also don't block good things that are happening right now. Some of you may be finding that multiple propositions or multiple offers or multiple recruitments or suggestions are coming your way when it comes to growing your career or taking on a new job or a new role. Some of you may be finding um, multiple different options when it comes to, li to living situations for those of you who are maybe house hunting. And a lot of you are also going to find that uh, certain income streams or projects that you have are starting to mature and require more attention from you because they are now big boys and no longer babies. And that's going to take a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of time from you to be able to work it in and kind of, again, create a new normal for yourself. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you have the Eight of Cups upright. And you're going to be getting some kind of news about a departure that is taking place. Um, a friend, a family member, an ally, uh, somebody that you know is walking away from a commitment or uh, a life or a lifestyle or maybe even a partnership or involvement that they have had up until this point. With the Eight of Cups, I see this as something that is very good, but it may be also... Uh, very difficult for them, and you're going to want to be there to be supportive. They may be leaving a bad job. They may be leaving an unhealthy relationship. They may be moving town, uh, moving from one town to the next, maybe moving closer to you, or maybe leaving something that has been creating problems for them. Um, but this is a good thing, and how involved you're expected to get is not clear here, but this just this does change the dynamic of your relationship going forward in a very good way. 
When it comes to your challenge this week, we've got the Four of Wands, upright. Not really much of a challenge at all, except you're moving on up, time to conduct everything as though everything's moving on up as well, right? The Four of Wands is all about crossing milestones, graduations, promotions, celebrations. I always call this the call for the cause for celebration card. With the Four of Wands as a challenge, we need to be ready to um, polish everything in our world. We need to be ready to live and carry ourselves in a way that is fitting to the transformations that are taking place. And sometimes with the Four of Wands, that means enforcing new boundaries, raising our standards, and that might be hard to do with certain people. Or this could be with the Four of Wands, um, simply no challenge for you at all, except to make sure that you are ready to accept and maintain the new standard of living and the new qualities of life promised by all of the good transformations that are taking place throughout this week. Um, step it up. Get ready to step it up to meet this change in status and station. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you have the Four of Pentacles upright. And love this week, um, you are going to find is becoming a lot more insular, a lot more isolated, a lot more cut off. And this feels like this is a decision that you and your partner or your spouse are agreeing to do together. Because with the Four of Pentacles upright, um, you are taking more time for one-on-one. -on -one. You are maybe not getting as social. We are deciding to honeymoon, you know, kind of have the sneak off, you know, to our own space and time kind of week. However, with the Four of Pentacles, there's also an additional message going on. Um, something that a partner or a spouse has been working on trying to protect or conserve or maintain is maybe also creating some problems with them in another area of their life. And we may need to take this alone time that we get with them to also help them work out what is keeping them stuck with this idea or this plan that's doing them no good. When it comes to those of you who are currently single or are available to new people, the Four of Pentacles upright is indicating that uh, love and romance, it's not impossible this week, but you may find that a connection is not getting the start it needs, and it may have to do with some kind of overprotective behavior or maybe um, uh, possessive behavior in the situation. Now, when I say possessive, it doesn't have to be possessive about love. Uh, this could be a situation where somebody is being possessed, right? Being possessed by their job, possessed by their uh, family, or something that is sort of locking our person of interest in place. And so we want to make sure that we are doing our due diligence to see what's going on, read the room, right? Not force anything, but see what we can do to loosen the straps a little bit with and for this person. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.